What is up everyone? My name is Josiah and here's another tech tip for you guys. Welcome to my first YouTube video. Maraming salamat po sa pag-support po sa akin sa, sa aking TikTok account. And here we are guys. This is my official first YouTube video. You know me, Josiah Marcus Store, your tech talker. We're going to talk about cable management and why should you cable manage? The importance of cable management is to keep your things organized. I personally love cable management and here are some tips that I can share to you how to cable manage your setup. Before anything else guys, I just wanted to tell you to leave a like on this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's proceed to the video. Okay, let's start with this setup. I have here my Ryzen 5 3600. Then with 16 gigs of RAM, my RTX 2060. Then for my storage, we have the 1 terabyte HDD and 240 SSD. There we go. Now for my monitor, we have the HKC curved monitor, 24 inches. Then my old television, this is a 15.6 Pensonic television. Luma na yan. So guys, nakita nyo naman, ang nakamount lang po sa akin is yung second monitor ko guys. Bakit? Kasi siya lang po ang may best amount. Unlike po kasi dito sa isa ko, yung main monitor display ko po, ay wala po siyang best amount. So things to consider rin po kapag bibili, to, bibili po tayo ng ating monitor, po consider po natin kung ano po yung mounting bracket niya. So ang ginawa ko po, para eye level po yung nakikita ko dito, bumili po ako ng isang monitor stand. I will leave this on the description below. Okay, for my peripherals, I have two mice. I have the Textron Coscorpion 7 by Armageddon. Then we have here the Deluxe M618C Ergonomic Mouse. So guys, um, I have here my 60% keyboard, which is a Draconic made by Red Dragon. 60% Draconic by Red Dragon. And it has brown switches, by the way. Okay, for my earphones, I have the Fragrant Zitter earphones by TFZ, uh, T2, I guess, I forgot the model. And for my daily driver for my phone, I have my Galaxy Samsung A721. There you go. Let's proceed to the cable management, guys. Alright, guys, so I'm under my desk. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano yung cable management ko. As you can see... Uh, binutasan ko po ang aking table yes, binutasan ko po siya gamit yung power drill ng aking father then lahat po ng cables ko pinadaan ko po siya sa baba then, ito po meron po kong plastic cable wrapper sa Shopee galing po yan, and then of course I use some zip ties zip ties and some velcro straps as well for my other cables example, ito pong aking cable for my charger and binutasan ko rin po siya papunta sa taas. Papakita ko. Yan. So guys, as you can see, ito po yung cable ko. So hihilain ko na lang yan tapos isasaksa ko na lang siya dito. If ever gusto kong mag-charge. Yan. And syempre dito rin sa aking keyboard, obviously, nakatago po yan. Binutasan ko po ang aking RGB mousepad from Shopee as well. Then, ang ginawa ko, pinadaan ko po siya sa, sa baba kahit yung cable for the RGB mousepad. There you go! So guys, nakita nyo na kung paano po ako nag-cable manage sa aking desktop and papakita ko po yung mga things na ginamit ko. First of all, ito po ay zip ties or cable ties po, sabi nila. Okay, ito po ay nagko-cost po like 50 cent 50 cents po ata siya. 50 cents po and ito pong full, full pack po niya it only cost parang 120 pesos in Shopee. Ngayon po, um, depende po siya sa mismong size na kukunin nyo kung gano'ng kahaba and gano'ng po siya kapal. Ang disadvantage nga lang po, kapag gumagamit po kayo ng zip ties, once nilock mo na po siya or na-organize mo na po yung mga wires nyo, hindi nyo na po siya matatanggal. So, probably, kailangan nyo po siyang gupitin, then kapag ginupit nyo, uulitin nyo po siyang tirap ulit. Next naman guys, we have plastic 
cable wrappers po from Shopee rin po at the same uh, binili ko po siya uh, unfortunately I bought this without the the head yung mismong pag nilagay niyo po siya yung mga wires pag nilagay niyo po yung wires niya dito um mas madali pong ilagay so far minano-mano ko na lang po eh. Um, ewan ko bakit hindi po ako nakapag-ship na merong header niya. Pero guys, para mas makatipid kayo and nare-recycle nyo po yung mga cables nyo, I recommend using Velcro straps. Velcro straps are very good for cable management kasi nare-recycle nyo po yung Velcro strap itself. Unlike po yung mga cable strips or yung mga zip ties po, kailangan nyo po siyang gupitin and napakagastos nyo po. Moving on, para dun sa mga nilalagay po natin sa under the desk, like yung mismong power strip natin, yung hand key na power strip ko, meron pong options uh, available po sa Shopee na napakamura niya lang po. First option na nakita ko sa Shopee is yung... <laughs> Anong pangalan mo? So, tumingin ako sa Shopee guys ng mga pwede kong isadya sa inyo para sa cable management nyo. First of all, pag gusto nyong ilagay lahat ng mga cable wires nyo sa underneath the desk without using zip ties or using velcro straps, you can use this under desk cable management tray for your storage compartment. So, another thing is pwede rin naman kayo bumili ng parang metal raceway para lahat na lang ng wires ipapadaan nyo dun and mas madali naman po siyang mailagay. Ang kapag metal raceway nga lang po, kailangan nyo lang pong i-mount yung metal raceway underneath your desk. So guys, I will be telling you why we should cable manage. First of all, we should cable manage because we all want a cleaner desk or a workspace. So, yun po yung number one tip na binibigay ko parati sa aking mga TikTok followers and so far, ibibigay ko na rin po sa iyo na YouTube follower ko. So guys, hit that subscribe button nga pala. Pangalawa guys, bakit tayo nagki-cable manage? Para ma-utilize po natin yung ating desk. So guys, kapag hindi po tayo naka-cable manage, lahat po ng mga gamit natin, it's either ang dami pong mga wires, ang dami pong mga kalat, and that's the reason why kung bakit dapat tayo mag-cable manage. Kasi ma-avoid po natin yung clutter sa ating desk space or yung ating workspace. Pangatlong tip naman guys kung bakit dapat tayo mag-cable management is because para ma-maximize po natin ang performance and yung durability po ng ating mga cables. Kasi guys, kapag nasasagi po natin sa ating underneath ng desk, yung ating mga cables, pwede po siyang ma-damage or mahila-hila. Then, di, di po natin ma-utilize ng sobrang tagal yung ating mga cables. Last thing na pwede kong isadjust sa inyo guys kung bakit dapat tayo mag-cable manage kasi sobrang hirap mag-untangle ng mga wires. Kapag magbabaklas tayo ng ating computer, sobrang dali na lang po niyang mag-wire management. Example po, nakatangle pa yung mga wires natin, ibig sabihin, i-untangle pa po natin yun. So kapag nakabull yung mga wires natin, may harapan pa po tayo sa ating pagbabaklas. So that's why cable management is the key. Guys, ito pong tinuro kong video, not only for cable management, but it is also a tip for you guys para yung ating workspace sa ating office or sa ating uh, home setup, mas mapadali po at mas malinis po yung ating paggawa. So guys, that sums up this video and I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you leave your comments down below kung ano pang pwede nyong ma-suggest na cable management tips and tricks po para sa lahat. And for my second video guys, I will be reacting to your set up at home. Yes po, ang pangalan po ng segment na ito ay Flex Your Setup. Alam na po ng mga nanonood sa akin sa TikTok yung mechanics. And at the same time, if you are part of my Discord server, um, andun po yung mechanics as well. So you're going to post your Google Drive folder which contains several pictures of different angles of your setup. So yun na nga po ang nagtatapos na ang ating video. Make sure to leave a like Comment and subscribe to my channel for more tech talk tips. This is your host, Josiah Marcos Thor, and see you on the next video.